So there's a few new security vulnerabilities that have been discovered which affects, oh, you know, pretty much every browser that's in existence, or at least all of the Chromium-based ones. Now, one of the more severe exploits that have been discovered is this one here, 15999, uh, which is a heap buffer overflow vulnerability that exists in the free type library. Now, that library is used for rendering fonts, not just in Chrome and Chromium-based browsers, but it is also a common font library on Linux, Android, iOS, and the Chrome OS. So this could affect you even if you aren't using a Chromium-based browser. Like you might be using uh, some fairly normal Linux distro, like say Ubuntu, and it doesn't even come with any Chromium-based browsers. As far as I know, they're still sticking to Firefox as the default, but chances are you still have this library on your desktop. And this particular exploit in the free type library exists because of a flaw that's in a particular function, the load sbit png function that processes png images that are embedded into fonts. So with this exploit, it is possible to create the buffer overflow with this function that can lead to remote execution of arbitrary code. And this is especially bad for somebody who is using a Chromium-based browser on Windows or even Linux if you're using a much older kernel that has all existing vulnerabilities within the kernel itself. Because if you can get remote code execution on something like a Windows box or a Linux box that has a vulnerable kernel, then from there, it's pretty easy to get privilege escalation to then have a root shell. And if you have a root shell on whether it's a Windows box or a Linux box, whoever is controlling that root shell essentially controls that computer. And what would you know, the default browser on Windows, Microsoft Edge, is also now a Chromium-based browser as of this year. Now, things are not all completely terrible because of this exploit here. If we take a look on the FreeType website, uh, there has been an emergency patch launched for this font engine. and. We even have some nice bold red lettering on their website to really drive home the fact that you should update immediately. Uh, you don't really have to do a manual update. You'll most likely have this inside of your software center if you're using something like Linux Mint or Ubuntu. Uh, wherever you go to do your updates, it already exists in there. So you just have to update your system if you're on Linux and you're good. Uh, Windows, I don't really know. I haven't booted up my Windows computer in a while. I just have one that I use for work, but I'm sure when I load it up on Monday, there's going to be some updates for it that will hopefully contain uh, these same fixes here. And as far as the browsers themselves go, there has been an emergency patch that was released for Chrome and Chromium for Windows, Mac, and Linux. And this contains five security fixes for the exploits that are listed here. And you can see that it also includes that same one that we just covered, the heat buffer overflow in free type. Now, here's where the bad news comes in. Like I said at the start of the video, these exploits were found not just in Google Chrome, but they were found in the open source project Chromium as well. And most of the web browsers that exist on the internet today, in fact, a lot of programs in existence as well, uh, they're just reskins of Chromium or they're heavily based on Chromium. Like if you wanna use the cryptocurrency privacy lion browser that's known as Brave Browser, well, that's actually Chromium. If you wanna use Vivaldi, that's also Chrome. If you wanna use Edge, we already covered that, it's Chrome based. And uh, hey, if you wanna just play some games, right? Maybe you don't even wanna browse the web, you just wanna do some gaming in Steam. Well, Steam is also based on Chromium. You see, in the future, everything is Chrome, but 
all of these projects, they're going to be fixing bugs at a different pace. So it is possible that this buffer overflow and remote code execution exploits could exist in multiple programs that you are using and not be patched in all of them for a long time. And this is why putting all of your eggs in one big Chrome basket is not a good way to be. You should try and diversify your applications as much as possible. Don't have them all be based on the same thing and the same web engines. Or if you're going to be like most people and just continue on living the Chrome life, at the very least, you should update all of your browsers. The Chromium build that patches these exploits is 86.0.4240.111. So you wanna make sure that you're at least on that version or a later version like I have here because I have the developer build of Chromium. Uh, that way you're not going to be vulnerable to these exploits and Make sure you update the free type font engine as well. Like I said at the start of the video, you should just be able to start up your uh, update utility. So I don't have any on my system because I already went ahead and updated my Linux Mint box as well as my Gentoo box. So everything is covered there. Make sure that you do the same so that your Chrome doesn't get pwned.